Good morning and Roll Tribe ICC fans. Adam Gore here with this August the 6th edition of the ICC Hour. Man, it is already uh, August. Man, it seems like this year is just flying by. It's almost as if we uh, just wrapped up the school year just a few weeks ago, but instead uh, we're starting classes uh, next week here at ICC. And oh, by the way, don't forget, uh, it's not too late to sign up for classes if you still want to become part of the ICC family. Just uh, you'll see some commercials throughout the day or hear some commercials throughout the day as well. Just uh, email eadvisor at iccms.edu, eadvisor at iccms.edu, or give a call at 862-8000. That's 862-8000. You can visit iccms.edu for more information. Now, we are going to uh, have a few dates coming up soon, actually uh, this week. Uh, for some registration as well. Let me find my notes real quick uh, for those. So yes, uh, those dates, they're going to be uh, open registration on the Tupelo campus uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, August the 7th from 4 to 7 p.m. And then on Thursday, August the 8th, it'll be from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then on August the 9th from 8 a.m. to 4.30. Once again, those are registration, open registration dates going on on the Tupelo campus. Again, those dates and times uh, tomorrow, August the 7th, uh, which is Wednesday, uh, will be at 4 to 7 p.m. And then Thursday, August the 8th from 8 to 6 p.m. And then Friday, August the 9th from 8 until 4.30. Again, visit iccms.edu for more information. Hey, we've got a very, very busy show coming your way today. Uh, we're going to take you to the press conference that was held at Tupelo uh, and some Q&A after that press conference. Uh, went about the Middle College, uh, the program going on between ICC and Tupelo High School. We'll also talk to former ICC student D. Stegall uh, later on the show, and then we'll wrap up the show today talking with our ICC Athletic Director, Coach Kerry Ball Williamson. Uh, if you have been around sports in North Mississippi, you know Coach Kerry Ball very well. We'll talk about a little bit about her career last season and the upcoming sports year as well. So all that and more here on the ICC Hour. We'll take a break and be back with that right after this here on Super Talk Mississippi. Thinking about going back to college? Good news, it's not too late to sign up for classes at Itawamba Community College. Apply for ICC's Adult Learner Scholarships, and don't forget about our new Mississippi Work Scholarships for our career education programs. Who knows, you may already have college paid for. Find out more by calling 862-8000 or emailing eadvisor at iccms.edu. Registration is open now, and traditional classes start August the 12th, and online classes begin August 26th, so sign up today. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. Today, you are connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected, which is easy with convenient locations in your community. Understanding that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. Banking partners with the services you desire who understand how you want to bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Hancock Learning Center for a very historical announcement today between the Tupelo Public School District and ICC. Thank you all for being here. The format, we will introduce Dr. Piku and Dr. Allen. They will give opening remarks. And for the media, we will take your questions. Uh, just raise your hand when you're ready and we'll go to you. And if you would, if everybody would please make sure your cell phones are on silence. At this time, if Dr. Pico and Dr. Allen will, will come up and we'll get this started. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. We are very excited to be here. Uh, Mr. Ellis mentioned it being a historic uh, announcement, and it is. It's a different way of doing business in public education. Uh, the, uh, when I first got hired on in Tupelo Public School District, I was charged by a very uh, creative and courageous school board to design innovative programs that would get people excited about the Tupelo Public School District. Historically, Tupelo Public School District has always been a leader in the state in terms of uh, something new, something different, and expanding opportunity for our children. And this is just one such opportunity. We talk a lot about the one single heartbeat of the Tupelo Public School District. 
And basically all that is is when a group of people with honest intent come together and agree to do whatever it takes to achieve extraordinary results. And our partnership with ICC, we're very excited that it is an example of the one single heartbeat. Our team and your team came together and worked through all the nitty gritty details. And believe me, there were many. <laughs> and I think we have uh, come to a product that our parents will be proud of, our students will be proud of, and our community will be proud of for a long time into the future. This is a wonderful opportunity for our students to be able to accelerate. It's not for every student, but it's for that group of students who have the work ethic, the diligence, and the commitment, the commitment to achieve something extraordinary, which is an AA degree and a high school diploma upon graduation from high school. So that's very exciting. We're excited about the opportunity for all of our students. Thank you, Dr. Koo. We are definitely glad to be a part of that one heartbeat. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. As we are in our final preparations to begin our fall semester at Idawamba Community College, we are thrilled to pilot a middle college program to better benefit qualified students and look forward to continuing our partnership with the Tupelo Public Schools. First, I want to thank Dr. Piku for your visionary leadership of the Tupelo Public Schools. When Dr. Piku and I began the conversation about the middle college concept, it posed to be a great venture to meet students where they are in life while stepping beyond the traditional dual credit model. This highly rigorous academic offering is structured to provide successful, demanding, and meaningful experiences for high school students who need a more challenging curriculum, as well as for those who are at risk of not meeting their full academic potential in a traditional high school setting. The middle college program combines high school and the first two years of community college into an articulated educational sequence which affords students the opportunity to earn a high school diploma and the ability to complete an Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Applied Science degree, or technical certificate. We are excited today to begin this middle college venture as a natural progression in exposing these students to collegiate level experiences while continuing to provide exceptional educational offerings. We look forward to expanding this opportunity in the future to all five of our county service areas as we continue to serve as Mississippi's premier community college. Thank you so much. We are excited about the partnership. Can't wait to see what it'll look like a year or two down the road. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah. Questions? Is that expected to begin this upcoming school year? Yes, it's a pilot program this school year. So it starts this fall and um, we'll just start to grow it from there. And will those students, uh, will they go, come to the Tupelo campus or will they go to Fulton? They'll come, go ahead. They'll go to the Tupelo campus and okay. they'll have a bus there to transport them to the campus here in Tupelo. And we have hired a uh, counselor, where's Mr. Finley? Well, here Mr. Finley is going to be working specifically with this group of students to make sure they have the necessary supports for success. They're going to get transportation to the ICC campus here in Tupelo in the morning, back for lunch, and then back back here to the campus, and then back over to Tupelo to depart on the buses to go home. We did not want transportation to be a barrier for any of the They'll attend classes, but they'll also have a home base on, on campus, a, a room that they can go back to and continue their studies outside of the classroom, collaborate with each other, and um, take advantage of the services that are already offered on the two locations. I will add, while they're on our campus, they will look and probably feel much like a college student. They won't look any different, so they'll be just like every other student out there this in college. In preparation, we went down to the Gulfport campus to see what the community college down there looked like, and we met a young lady who was just getting ready to graduate one of the first cohorts and she talked about how she finished her first two years she's going to graduate from high school and the community college at the same time and then she's going to go to state and in four years at state she will have completed a master's degree so that's the potential of this type of accelerated experience and just imagine how much more advanced she is with a master's degree after four years and then the financial savings for her parents is true yeah it's true yeah. Other questions? How many students are uh, eligible for this pilot program this year? Oh, uh, we went on based on how many students had interest, and we have seven committed students at this point in time, and four possibles. We 
because of the criteria that we established to make sure the students were capable of completing the rigorous uh, course load that they would be encountering. Uh, one of the things the young lady in Gulfport uh, explained, uh, some of the things she learned in her experience at the college was where to park, you know, how to get to class on time. There's so many variables that our students encounter when they go off to a four-year college thing that we don't necessarily cover in a high school experience. Uh, but, you know, having to park on campus in a different place and get to class on time. Having to tell a friend she can't go out the night before a big exam. Those type of skills that are definitely uh, important for success in post-secondary experience. She learned at a very young age. True. And, I think and you were sharing some data on post-secondary well, completion rates on right. the bachelor program. I we do. Uh, ICC produces on average more, um, our graduates produce more bachelor's degree than any other community college in the state of Mississippi. So we've been very, very successful getting our students through our program of study and then onto the university to be successful there, even with a higher GPA than the native students. So we're very proud of that. And I think these students will fit that model as well. And then those that choose to do an associate of applied science will be able to go straight to the workforce, very well trained and ready to be productive. Um, I will also add that the unique part of this is the students in the middle college program in essence have access to the full catalog of the college. So if they have a particular course that they're interested in or because of their major, they can go and take that course and it's not really um, contingent upon having 10, 15, 20 students at their high school interested in the same course and then somebody certified to teach that there. They can just they'll walk into a classroom and they may be the only middle college student in that classroom at that time of day, but they're going to look like a college student at the end of the day, which is great. It's a great opportunity for them. Yeah, it was really important to us and to our board that we just didn't dump kids on the campus, that we provided the necessary support that they would be successful. And that's why we committed to hiring our staff members to, uh, to be with the students, to provide the academic and uh, support that these kids are going to be, to be successful in all areas. So, in, in where they're taking actual college classes all day long. Will they also be taking high school classes alongside that? Some may, yeah. Uh, there, there's a U.S. history completion requirement that has to still get completed at the high school, so some will still be going back, which is the purpose for the bus, to get them back and forth as well, so that they can complete high school classes and participate in some high school activities. Thinking about going back to college? Good news, it's not too late to sign up for classes at Itawamba Community College. Apply for ICC's Adult Learner Scholarships and don't forget about our new Mississippi Work Scholarships for our career education programs. Who knows, you may already have college paid for. Find out more by calling 862-8000 or emailing eadvisor at iccms.edu. Registration is open now and traditional classes start August the 12th and online classes begin August 26th, so sign up today. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. You live life on your own terms. You won't be told what you can't do. And we're here to back you. From the boardroom to the big stage, Renaissance Bank supports women striving for success. Because greatness isn't held to anyone's expectations, except yours. So if anyone says you can't, prove them wrong. Rise with Renaissance. Supporting women in the communities they influence every day. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Stuffed Crust Pizza topped with pepperoni and cheese. And stuffed with over three feet of cheese. In the crust. That's right. We stuffed cheese. Into the crust of the pizza with extra cheese. And the most pepperoni. All at the nation's best price of just nine bucks. Try our convenient app and pizza portal pickup. Pizza, pizza.
And welcome back to the ICC Hour as we step inside this ICC Spotlight being brought to you by our little friends, our friends at Little Caesars. Uh, we're going to talk to Dee Stegall, DA, alumni of ICC and uh, a good friend of mine. Dee, appreciate you joining us this morning. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. All right, man. Uh, real quick, tell everybody who you are, where you're from, and the years you were here at ICC. Yeah, my name is uh, Damaris Stegall. I am from Smithville, Mississippi. Um, I finished high school there and then I came and did two great years at ICC and now I'm finishing up my senior year at Mississippi State University. I'm studying communications with a concentration in public relations. So this man is coming to steal our job here pretty soon. So, <laughs> uh, well, All right, so I just want to start this off and uh, Dee, first time I met you uh, here at ICC, it was one of those, you, you meet certain people that you know has it. Like you're like, this kid's going to be something and, and, and you were one of those guys. Thank and uh, it, it reflected in everything you did here at ICC and, and now doing it at Mississippi State as well. So uh, real quick, tell everybody, like, uh, when you made that decision from coming to Smithville to ICC, yeah. you know, uh, what, what, what drew you to ICC? The, the entire process was a blessing. I really didn't know I was coming until about two weeks before graduation. Um, I had toured ICC. I really enjoyed it. Um, it felt like home. I enjoyed the campus. And then after that, I still negotiated um, where I wanted to go. I went on some other tours in different places, uh, different universities, different community colleges. And as cliche as it sounds, ICC just felt right. Um, everybody I met was very genuine, um, very honest, and very uh, transparent about the process, what they thought about ICC, everything like that. Um, so I really enjoyed it. And so about two weeks before, I came on campus and I also applied for Indian delegation. Um, ended up getting that. And so everything just kind of fell in line. And so I knew I was like, ICC is going to be for me. And, and so now that you, you went through ICC and you went to Mississippi State, of course, I, I'm like you. I went to a very small high school. Right. Uh, now, I, now, I went to Mississippi State and then came back to ICC. And I'm not saying that's not for everybody, but it just wasn't for me coming from that small setting. Now that you see Mississippi State, do you think possibly that ICC helped prepare you for that university? I know for a fact ICC helped prepare me. Um, a, it transitioned me people-wise because I was able to build a, a great foundation at ICC. Um, a lot of the friends that I've had at ICC are still like my core friends. Um, it gave me a core group of friends when I got to Mississippi State. Um, it put me in a, a way better position financially as well. A lot of scholarship opportunities, um, things like that. And then it taught me, for lack of better words, how to college, mm -hmm. um, which is a lot of times can be difficult coming from a small school. Right. Um, and so I got there and I knew how classes were. Um, I knew what professors would expect, things like that. I didn't know maybe the ins and outs of MSU, but I knew how to college. So it just made the process a lot easier. And I think it's the best way to put it because that's what I didn't know how to do when I went to state. Yeah. And, and it overwhelmed me. Uh, you know, I'll tell it's people that, you know, that, you know, in, in my, in my, when people ask me about college, you know, I thought I was ready, mm -hmm. but I wasn't, you know. And yeah. so whenever I went to state, then came here to ICC, then, like you said, it taught you how to college. So let's talk about some of the things you did while you're here at ICC. You were, you, you did a little bit of everything. And that's one yeah. thing that we try to tell people is no matter if it's a, a junior college or a university, mm. college is what you make it, the experience you make it itself by participating, being involved, and, and just basically just squeezing the life out of your college experience. Kind of just tell everybody what you uh, what you were involved in and some of your highlights while you were here. Yeah, um, I, I was really blessed at ICC and it was a good opportunity to see what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, but while I was here, I was able to uh, announce for baseball for both years. That was a really fun experience, one of the highlights uh, for sure. And then I also got to do Indian delegation, which is, for those who might not be familiar with it, it's basically just recruiting for the school. So we got to talk to high school students and do tours and things of that nature. And then we also got to do uh, student government for two years. So my freshman year, I was a representative. And then my sophomore year, I was able to be president of the student body. And then also here in community relations, I was able to start the Lynn Report, which is live Indian news, along with a good friend of mine, Chelsea Mullins and Lakin Jones. And so that was just basically a student broadcast that's still going on today, gives uh, students current news and things that are going on on campus. Uh, and then I was also able to help out with just some different tours for like basketball, football, things like that. All right. And then you took that experience 
and you went on to do similar things at Mississippi State. Yeah. Uh, so, and I keep up with you. You know, you, like we, like I said, uh, for those that are watching or listening, we, we we were boys when you were here. Still are boys. What are we right. talking about? But uh, I look at it. I mean, I see it. I'm like, man, I'm so proud of D. Uh, tell everybody like how you kind of bridge that gap between community college and the university and what you did at Mississippi State. Yeah, so uh, during my sophomore year, I was able to take a tour at Mississippi State. Uh, loved the tour. It was a very similar feel for me as ICC, the home feeling and all of those different things. Um, and so I was able to set up a tour. And then also at the junior college level, uh, they recruit very well. Universities really want junior college students. A lot of times they're more mature, things of that nature. So I was able to build a good connection and start that connection my freshman year. So I was able to have two years to kind of build that connection. Um, and then once I uh, was able to do my uh, transition, I was able to meet people. And so once I got on campus, I already knew some instructors, mm -hmm. or I knew some people in my department. And that really helped my process along because then I already knew kind of what I was interested in, so I knew right. what I wanted to get involved in, right. what I didn't want to get involved in. Um, I And then by the time I got there, I really knew career-wise kind of the path I wanted to go, and so I was good with my major and everything like that. All right, and then what are some of the things uh, you're involved with at Mississippi State? Um, so very similar, uh, I do student government at MSU my uh, junior year. Uh, my first year there, I was able to do uh, student government senate, and then the second year, I was deputy chief of staff, which is like working with the student body president, um, different things like that. I was also able to uh, be president of the Transfer Student Association, which is something that we restarted, basically to help students transition to uh, university life from community college or whatever the case is. Uh, and that was kind of one of my pride and joys yeah. that uh, my baby, if you will, that I was able to do. And then we were also able to start an initiative for a transfer student living community. And so now you have a specific set of residence halls that transfer students live on the hall together. Uh, and you have a community, you all kind of going through the transition together. Um, and that was able to get started. And that was really kind of vision casted from having the opportunity to be an RA here while I was here with uh, Mr. Chad Case. Awesome. And so what what is your plans for the future? Plans for the future. That's <laughs> the big question. I know. Question. Saying, that's, I know that, <laughs> and being a college student, you're probably like, man, I hear that all the time. But right. but uh, you're a guy. You've always had that vision, that plan. Yeah. So you know, just talk to us about you know maybe what you're seeing, maybe going towards in the future. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm right now. I'm really interested in politics. So. Um, possibly a future being on someone's staff and then maybe a little bit later on in life um, running for public office. That's kind of what seems the most visible right now. I'm still really interested in media, still really interested in radio, television, um, a lot of different things like that. So that could be something in the future too. Awesome. And of course, we uh, coming up on a break. So you got a little bit more time to hang around with me? Yeah, of course, of course. All right, so we're going to come back. We're talking to Dee uh, Stegall here, uh, former ICC. Uh, graduate over at Mississippi State doing great things there as well. We'll be back with more of the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi right after this. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas, the world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. Today, you are connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected, which is easy with convenient locations in your community. 
Understanding that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. Banking partners with the services you desire who understand how you want to bank. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. My burger goes best with mustard. And ketchup and mustard. Grass-fed beef. No, corn fed. On the grill. Now, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. Avocado, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be all done. Rioche. Sesame seeds. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkeys are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the Coke. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the Coke. Only with the Coke. Coke and a burger. Come on. All right. That's where you get the flavor. Thinking about going back to college? Good news, it's not too late to sign up for classes at Itawamba Community College. Apply for ICC's Adult Learner Scholarships, and don't forget about our new Mississippi Work Scholarships for our career education programs. Who knows, you may already have college paid for. Find out more by calling 862-8000 or emailing eadvisor at iccms.edu. Registration is open now and traditional classes start August 12th and online classes begin August 26th, so sign up today. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. And welcome back to the ICC Hour, continuing our conversation with uh, D. Stegall. Now, you introduce yourself as Damaris. What do you want to be now? Are you D? What are you? So, I'm D. I'm okay, D. Yeah. okay. Well, I'm saying, well, I want to make sure I had your name right. Yeah, so, I'm, yeah. I'm still D. Still D. Mom, mom will get mad if I don't put my uh, real name out there. Okay, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. We got to keep mom happy. Got to keep mom happy. All right, man. Well, we talked about all the great things you did here while you're at ICC and then currently doing it at Mississippi State. And again, man, I, just, I tell you when I see you, man, I'm proud of you. Thank and you, everything you. you do but uh let's kind of do the sales pitch now if you will yeah. um all right so if there's a prospective student watching this or listening to it on the radio why should they choose icc so i, I always start with um of course it's affordable like uh I'm, I'm pretty sure most people know that but i tend to always think about where can you get the most out of your experience uh, and for me, I just tend to think that majority of students, there's not a better place to start than the ICC. It gives you a really good uh, position to transition, whether you're from a big school or a small school, because you get a chance to get your feet under you. Because college can be overwhelming no matter your background, uh, what school you're from, what state you're from, because it can be a lot, especially if it's a, a large school. And so ICC gives you a chance to transition, gives you a chance to make some lifelong friends, some lifelong connections. And then it also gives you a chance to make sure that your uh, foundation is good as far as academically goes, as far as like knowing what some of your interests are. It gives you a chance to dabble in this, dabble in that, um, a wide array of different things. And, and that's one thing a lot of people may not think about is it is a transition and it's a big change in life. And I like to call it a chapter marker in life yeah. uh, where you're starting a new chapter. Uh, what were some of the things that you dealt with? personally and not obviously too personally but uh, right. whenever you did make that transition from high school to college um first so i lived on campus so first it was my first time being away from home kind of on my own you right. know um and even if we're not fully adults yet but you're still living on your own you still have to you know take care of your schedule take care of everything yourself and so it gives you a chance to kind of grow up and get from under mom and dad's wings and kind of uh figure out what you got trying to go on and then also i would say just understanding that you're in a position in life where you're trying to figure out what you want to do um, and so that's probably one of the biggest things as far as growing up goes in college. That's a difficult thing because a lot of times you'll go in and you'll know what you want to do and then you'll have certain classes or you'll meet certain people or get involved in certain things. You're like, well, I didn't like this as much as I thought I did or I do like this more than I thought I did. Um, and so figuring out, like, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? Is there just one thing or are there multiple things? Those were probably some of the biggest challenges that I faced. It's still faced, yeah. uh, still being in college. It's funny you mentioned that because whenever I first started college, uh, I went into criminology. Mm. I, I, don't, I guess I was going to be Batman or something, <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, but obviously you see where I'm at now. Right. And, you know, a total just not, not even total opposite just to, not even the same ballpark as what I originally mm -hmm. went into and it is because of some classes that I took uh, while I was here at ICC and then a job that I got and then a friend of mine uh, Jeremy Kennedy and Ron Whittington were like man you should probably look into being an SID you kind of got a niche for this stuff and 
Here you, Here are, you are. So yeah. All right. So obviously the the students have a big say in that, but parents as well. Mm -hmm. And you talk about for the first time, and we're going to see this uh, next week with Move In Day on August the 11th. Uh, there's going to be some some tough moments. Oh, yeah. uh, parents, uh, garden guardians, letting go of some kids for the first time. Uh, how would you give the parents the peace of mind knowing that their kids are in good hands here at ICC? I would say that um, understand that first off, I think my personal opinion, the community college system in Mississippi is the best in the country. I, I firmly believe that. Um, and I think ICC is at the top of that list. And so uh, understand that ICC has a lot of safety precautions and a lot of different things. And ICC is unique in the fact that I feel like they monitor students but also give you a chance to fail a little bit and so there be times your your student uh, if they live on campus they'll probably come home with a ticket from their room or right. a parking ticket or something like that and there will be life lessons that you learn through that and so ICC just does a really good job of letting you grow up but also letting you make a few small mistakes I kind of like how you put that uh, said because uh, everybody looks at the positive success but they do allow you to fail and, and I, I'm a strong believer in this, if you learn a lesson from your failures, then it's not a failure. Right. You know, so, and that's, and that's the case here at ICC. Yes, you have the results of real life that you have to deal with whenever you do make those mishaps. So uh, kind of allude on that a little bit more, if you can. Yeah, so uh, I, I remember coming and then my first week I got a parking ticket. Um, and I've never had a ticket before <laughs> in my life at this point. And I'm like, what is this like what am I supposed to do with this and then just figuring out like going through it and you know telling my parents and everything and then having to work my money up to pay for that myself um, and learning lessons from that and learning that you know when you get to college and you get to real life it's not necessarily who you are what you there are rules you have to buy by there are lessons you got to learn um, and then being an RA also gave me that opportunity because I was able to work with different guys and ended up I had to give some of my friends tickets sometimes yeah. for the room being messy and things like that. And so I learned, I always tell people my freshman year, I learned a lot of lessons the hard way and not necessarily through mistakes right. I made, but just through learning things the hard way. But like you said, to me, almost those hard lessons, you remember more than the things that are easy, you know. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot now. You ready? Ready. You ready? Huh? You're always ready. <laughs> All right, so uh, favorite moment while you're at ICC? Favorite moment while I'm at ICC. Or favorite memory. Okay. So th this is a, might be odd for some people, but Adam knows I'm, I'm a huge sports fan. Yeah. So my freshman year, we hosted the MACJC basketball tournament here. Uh, for me, as a, as a hoops fan, that was an awesome moment. Um, because I just got to hang around the gym all day. Uh, athletics, uh, basketball was going on all day. Different coaches from different universities are here. Um, a lot of excitement on campus. You can see people going in and out in between classes coming through. Um, and so it was a really cool moment on campus because it, it kind of buzzed in a way that um, I had never seen it buzz before. So that was probably my personal moment. Nice, nice. All right. Um, favorite teacher or Let's do this. Oh. No, let's do a favorite teacher. Go ahead. That, 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 that little spark in you. Gonna get, okay. This might get me in trouble. So first, <laughs> all my professors, all my teachers were great. Um, the class I probably enjoyed the most was uh, U.S. History with Chris Stevenson. Okay. Um, it, me and him, that was one of my first classes in my first semester. Me and him really clicked. We still talk to the day. Um, and then I, I'm a history buff to uh, got invested into a political science club here while I was here and everything through that. And so that was probably my favorite professor, favorite teacher. All right. Was there a teacher outside of Chris that may have been a pretty big influence on you? Or was Chris yeah. that teacher? I, he, he was definitely one of those, um, and I would say one of the biggest things about ICC is there were so many people that were uh, major influences on my life. Um, some were teachers, some were not teachers. Uh, I think back to Larry Boggs and Emily Tucker yes. um, and Tyler Kemp and Adam Gore and a lot of people here in community relations who um, really took me in. I think about uh, Miss Stevenson and uh, Miss Boggs and a lot of those different teachers I had. And that was, for me, that was one of the coolest things about ICC because it wasn't just teachers pouring into me. I felt like I got poured into from all kinds of different directions. Um, and getting to know, like, here on a campus this small 
and people this relatable. You even get to know the president and different things like that, which of course, uh, the, pre the president who is currently here now wasn't here then, but even getting to know the president then and then getting to know the new president now, and it just felt like it was so amazing getting poured in from every different direction. A lot of times you just can't get that at a larger campus. All right, and of course, we refer to ourselves as a family here at ICC. So when you see the hashtag ICC family or hear somebody refer to ICC family, how would you define ICC family? I, w I would say that it just, it rings true. Like it's so true here. Um, every time I see that hashtag, I instantly have people that come to my mind. Um, and if it, if it lets people know anything, I am uh, about to be three years removed now and I still come visit campus fairly regularly. I at least try to make it out here like once a summer and come through and visit people and people still greet me with a smile and ask, is there anything I can do for you? Mm -hmm. How have you been? And want to know genuinely where I'm at in life, what I have going on, where do I plan on going? Um, and that's just something that you can't get at a lot of places. Right. And I, I know that from experience, when people say they genuinely care and you genuinely make connections that you will keep for the rest of your life. I, I ate with some friends the other day that I had through ICC. And so it, the family feel is definitely, definitely for me, the biggest aspect, the big, biggest selling point for ICC. Yeah, and just to back him up on that, I texted him, I was like, hey, D, you wanna come, uh, you wanna come do an interview, kind of talk about ICC and your experience here? No hesitation, absolutely, with the exclamation point was his reply. Uh, D, appreciate you taking time out of your morning to talk to us. Thank you, uh, thank you for having me. I know uh, you're a busy guy, but uh, man, we do appreciate everything you have done and continue to do for the ICC family. Any final thoughts? Uh, I would just say if you're a high school senior or high school junior and you're considering it, I would say take a tour. Um, once you see the campus, get a feel of it. I, I'm certain that you will definitely fall in love with it and roll try. All right, we'll be back more of the ICC Hour right after this on Super Talk Mississippi. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Student involvement is a top priority here at Itawamba Community College. If you want to be involved with student government, then the Student Government Association is the place for you. If you have a stellar GPA, then Phi Theta Kappa is for you. If you're interested in the diverse culture of our campus population, then the Diversity Club is for you. If you're interested in leadership and service, then Indian Delegation is for you. If you're majoring in computer programming or computer networking, then CPNA, the Computer Programming Networking Association, is for you. If you're interested in good conversations and free lunch on Thursdays, then the Wesley Foundation is for you. Our health science programs also have specific organizations for those majors. Student Activities is excited to bring you new opportunities here at the ICC Tupelo campus. Whatever your passion may be, we have a place for you. This video is brought to you by Phi Theta Kappa Beta Tau Sigma Tupelo campus. I'm really getting a vacation vibe off of this mocktail slot. This has transported me to some peaceful beach. We needed to get away. From what? From that parking space. Oh yeah, we were there last week. Oh, week! Get them while you can. New mocktail slushes like Pina Colada. Sonic Summertime Chicken BLT has basil, aioli, and melty mozzarella. It's like they took a BLT and turned it on its head. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, mine's just upside down. Oh. There oh, we go. Whew. Oh, I thought we were upside down for a second. Hurry in for summertime BLTs. Order ahead for happy hour anytime. Thinking about going back to college? Good news, it's not too late to sign up for classes at Itawamba Community College. Apply for ICC's Adult Learner Scholarships, and don't forget about our new Mississippi Work Scholarships for our career education programs. Who knows, you may already have college paid for. Find out more by calling 862-8000 or emailing eadvisor at iccms.edu. Registration is open now, and traditional classes start August the 12th, and online classes begin August 26th, so sign up today. Itawamba Community College, the best start here.
And welcome back to the ICC Hours. We're sitting down now with the legendary Coach Kerry Ball Williamson. Coach, uh, is it okay I still call you Coach? Everybody still calls you Coach, right? That's fine. Uh, we're talking fine. with Coach, uh, coach Ball, uh, the AD here at ICC. Uh, coach, thank you for taking time out of your morning to talk to us. Thank you for having me. Well, last year, a very, very successful year in athletics. Uh, eight of our ten teams made postseason play. We had uh, softball make it to the national tournament. Uh, baseball ranked as high as number two, hosted the regional tournament. Uh, golf made the national tournament. Men's tennis made the national tournament. Uh, it was a very busy 2018-19 sports season. It was. It was great, and we hopefully we can kind of build on that success uh, this year. Uh, the spring season for sure kept me busy uh, yes. last spring, but uh, like you said, eight out of our ten teams made the postseason. So I was running you know, uh, a lot, and hopefully, you know, we got we got a couple more teams that's, that competed well. Yes. So I'm hoping that we can uh, make it ten out of ten this time. Well, for those that may not know, what exactly? And you can't put it in a nutshell because we did. We'd have to do five shows. But what as your role as AD? What do you do? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Yeah. But uh, first of all, I support all my programs, mm -hmm. and then, uh, but basically, you don't see the behind the. But I guess you could call it behind the yeah. door work that we do. You know, we have to make sure that we're all in compliance all year long. Right. Have to make sure that uh, we're certified and we remain eligible. You know, mm -hmm. all year long, and then uh, as far as uh, our uh, postseason and and during the season. You know, like I said, I have to go and support our teams, you know, and anything that comes up during the year in athletics, you know, I need to be there and be on top of it. And, and that's one thing you really are on top of, and, and I hope our coaches, I know I do, uh, being the SID, really appreciate, uh, and other, other schools do too, because if there's ever a question, nine times out of ten, they're going to come to you and ask for clarification on it because, well, you've been here a minute, but you know it and you keep on top of things, so... We don't have to worry about some of the things that maybe some other schools do when they run into those issues. Well, like you said, I've been around <laughs> a long time. Yeah. And, uh, of course, rules have changed and uh, policies have changed. And, of course, we've got big changes coming up this year. Yeah. But uh, being an athletic director, you have to kind of stay on top of things. You have to kind of stay on top of the rules and study them and, and make sure that you keep them in your mind because when they change. I, I guess you could say some of them change every two or three years. Yes. And uh, you have to make sure that that is always fresh on your mind. All right, so let's go back to before you were AD. You are proudly from Pontotoc. Pontotoc, Mississippi. Pontotoc, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, you had a very outstanding career at Pontotoc. Uh, went on to coach basketball here at ICC before coming to the day. So kind of, kind of nutshell that again. Okay, well I started out uh, in the early 80s at uh, Pond Talk Sea Schools mm -hmm. and uh, that's the only other job I've ever had other than Illawong Community College, but I stayed at Pond Talk. I coached junior high, high school, basketball, softball. Stayed at Pond Talk Sea Schools for 12 years and then came to uh, ICC as the head softball coach, five years of mm -hmm. that, and the uh, head basketball coach, which was 13 years. And uh, I, uh, the last three years that I was basketball coach, I was also athletic director, which was uh, two pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah. tough jobs yeah. there. So uh, that's when I hired Nancy Gray and gave up the coaching and, and just, you know, kind of put all my efforts into being the athletic director. And uh, here uh, in softball, we were doing the slow pitch, won, mm -hmm. won state championship and three North divisions. Uh, and during that five years in basketball, one, two North, North divisions during that time. And we did it the old school way, you know. It was mm -hmm. back in the time when you didn't have assistants. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, just think coaching softball without an assistant or coaching basketball without one where you got to recruit both sports. Mm -hmm. And uh, been here for 27 years, uh, so uh, 39 years total. Wow. So you got your years in. Uh, so... It's you don't see this a lot. Of course, me being a guy, kind of difficult to say this, but you're a female athletic director in a very male-driven industry. Uh, as a woman, how does that feel to know not only are you one of the few female athletic directors, but you're one of the most highly regarded athletic directors, not only in the state, but the country? Well, I'm the only female athletic yeah. director in the state now, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, Katie Harrington, uh, uh, she's no longer athletic director at uh, Jones College, right. but uh, 
You know, and I, uh, I, I really don't think about it because I've been in a field that's male dominated for so long. Right. So it just, uh, I mean, I just, uh, yeah. it just feel like one big family. Yeah. And, that, and that's very true. So, all right. So let's look at coming up this year. Or, uh, well, one thing we can talk about before we do that. Uh, not starting this year, but we have announced volleyball, the addition of volleyball That's here right. at ICC, hired the new coach, uh, Priscilla Morgan. Uh, what can we expect uh, over this, this year before they start playing next year with volleyball? Well, we hired Coach Morgan to get out and uh, recruit uh, volleyball players, and uh, we're not going to compete outside of our school uh, this year. We're going to, uh, maybe we might have some volleyball players on campus that played in high school that we're going to have open tryouts and uh, form a team. We will really just form a team this year and then next year we will offer Division Two scholarships. Oh, nice. So uh, Division One, Division Two, and we know what that's that's going to be yet? Uh, in volleyball, mm -hmm. we're yeah. going to be Division Two. So be Division Two. Explain the difference between a Division One and Division Two program. A di Division One program can uh, give uh, tu tuition, room, and board, mm -hmm. and uh, Division Two can only give tuition and fees. Okay, so just the scholarship difference. That's the, there. the scholarship difference, and then you play at the schools. All D two schools play. In the uh, when you if you make it to the national tournament, D, there's a D2 national tournament, there's a D1 national tournament. Gotcha. Um, so this upcoming year, we will still have our 10 intercollegiate athletic sports, uh, golf, both soccer, men's and women's soccer, football. Uh, we'll be starting their first part of their season, and then we'll jump into. Everybody thinks this time of year is busy. Boy, when you January, and then February, and on, uh, that's when it gets busy. That's the busy yeah, time. Yeah. But uh, what what do you, what what are you looking forward to the most, and what are your expectations for this upcoming sports season? First, I'm looking forward to meeting all of our athletes. You know, uh, we'll have around 200 athletes on campus, and uh, I look forward to meeting them and uh, getting to know them and getting to watch them uh, compete. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that you're big on, and Dr. Allen is as well, is uh, they're student athletes. That student part comes first, and uh, that's one thing that you make sure that's a focus of our coaches is, yes, that we want them to be successful in their sport, but we know sports isn't going to last forever. So we want them to be even more successful in the classroom to prepare them for the future. So, you know, why why has that been something that's just been so big here at ICC? We like to graduate our athletes, and if you look around, even just in our area, we have principals, we have uh, teachers, we have uh, coaches, and we have people uh, working, I mean, over in um, Palm Talk, I know we've got one of my basketball players is a doctor, and, yeah. and so we we put out a lot of success for people, and we like our athletes to graduate. We want them to graduate, become successful, and, and that ball is important. Yeah. Yes, I love all the yeah. sports, you know, but... Like you said, we must be a student first. You gotta be a student athlete because you need that to fall back on because now everyone's not gonna be once you leave at a one community college, you may not play ball again. That's true. So it's 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 all it's a little bit bigger than ball. All right, now one thing we'll wrap up with here and it's kinda of on a personal note, uh, you know, as a coach, as athletic director, you, you, you invest a lot of yourself in these kids. When you see them go on and be successful in whether it be continuing their sports career, like a Pernell McPhee. Uh, you know, he's he's always talked very highly of you. Uh, people that go on to be the doctors or have the successful family lives. That's got to be one of the most rewarding part of your job. It, it makes me proud to see our athletes, our student athletes, be successful. You know, it just, uh, it just makes it, I guess that's the reason I come to work every day. Mm. To see these kids, I guess you can say, look like some of them transform from mm here to there you yes, know and, yes. and 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 you just feel good when you know that you had a part in that and you've had a big part in that everybody that uh, i've talked to there have been previous athletes that have come through they're very appreciative for everything you do and myself as well uh and you lord knows anybody listening watching right now you deserve a sainthood having to put up with the sid like you have to here <laughs> so but uh coach any final thoughts before we wrap up Hey, looking forward to this uh 2019-20 school year looking forward to the athletics and uh, I know we'll do well. And we've been talking with Coach Kerry Ball Williamson about uh, this last season, this upcoming season, athletics here at ICC. We'll be back more of the ICC Hour and wrap things up right after this.
I'm really getting a vacation vibe off of this mocktail slot. This has transported me to some peaceful beach. We needed to get away. From what? From that parking space. Oh, yeah, we were there last week. Oh, week! Get them while you can. New mocktail slushes like Pina Colada. Sonic Summertime Chicken BLT has basil, aioli, and melty mozzarella. It's like they took a BLT and turned it on its head. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, mine's just upside down. Oh. There we oh. go. Whew. Oh, I thought we were upside down for a second. Hurry in for summertime BLTs. Order ahead for happy hour anytime. You live life on your own terms. You won't be told what you can't do. And we're here to back you. From the boardroom to the big stage, Renaissance Bank supports women striving for success. Because greatness isn't held to anyone's expectations, except yours. So if anyone says you can't, prove them wrong. Rise with Renaissance, supporting women and the communities they influence every day. My burger goes best with mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Grass-fed beef. No, corn-fed. On the grill. Now, nah, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. Avocado, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be all done. Rio. Sesame seeds. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkeys are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the Coke. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the Coke. Only with the Coke. Coke and a burger. Come on. All right. That's where you get the flavor. Thinking about going back to college? Good news, it's not too late to sign up for classes at Itawamba Community College. Apply for ICC's Adult Learner Scholarships, and don't forget about our new Mississippi Work Scholarships for our career education programs. Who knows, you may already have college paid for. Find out more by calling 862-8000 or emailing eadvisor at iccms.edu. Registration is open now, and traditional classes start August the 12th, and online classes begin August 26th, so sign up today. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. And that's going to do it for today's ICC Hour. Uh, as I said, a jam-packed show. Uh, we we listen in on the press conference uh, concerning Middle College. That's a project between ICC and the Tupelo Public School District. I uh, appreciate Greg Ellis and everything those crew did out there for us at Tupelo. Also want to say a special thank you to Dee Stegall, a former ICC student here now doing a uh, Big things at Mississippi State coming by and talking to us about his experience uh, while a student here at ICC and also how ICC helped prepare him to continue to be successful uh, throughout his collegiate career. We also uh, talked with ICC Athletic Director Carrie Ball Williamson, uh, got a little little taste of what she does, really doesn't do a lot of justice to how busy she and Sylvia stay busy over there in the athletic department, as well as took a look back at some of the successes from last year, expectations on this year as well. Now, in case you miss any of today's show, uh, they will be available on our YouTube channel. Just search The ICC Hour. That's The ICC Hour on YouTube. Or you can go to Let's Go TV.com to the On Demand section, and you'll find the ICC Hour there. We try to put them listed, uh, the most recent shows as well. So this has been ICC Sports Information Director Adam Gore. Oh, and by the way, I'm also the Director of Media Relations here at ICC. We invite you back next week, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ItawampaCC or Let's Go ICC. Also on Instagram, Snapchat, and more there for both those at Itawamba CC and Let's Go ICC. Also, you can visit iccms.edu or letsgoicc.com to keep up with everything Itawamba Community College. Have a blessed day, and as always, roll tribe.